Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing general maintenance on our Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I'm going to make this video short and to the point without any fluff, so let's get right to it. So the first thing I would like to do is make sure that you understand all the steps ahead of time. I'll be breaking down each step into chapters so you can quickly find what you're looking for. First, we're going to clear debris from all four fans and the carbon filter. Then we're going to vacuum out the case. Next, we're going to grease the three lead screws. Then clean and lubricate the seven linear rods. Clean the camera from any debris. Check the belt tension. And then run a calibration. The first thing that we need to do is make sure we have all the proper tools and lubricants. For this maintenance, I highly recommend a bottle of canned air, Lucas Oil white lithium grease, some super lube, microfiber cloths, and a small screwdriver set just like this. I'll make sure I link everything down below, so if you'd like to support my channel, you can use those affiliate links to make your purchase. It helps the channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. The first thing that we need to do is clean out the fans and our filter. The Centauri Carbon has three fans, an auxiliary fan, a model fan, and the case fan. We need to clean all three of those first. The auxiliary fan is located in the back of the case, and it has a long, thin exhaust. The first thing that we need to do is expose both the auxiliary fan and the case fan. First, let's go ahead and pull the tool head forward so it's out of the way. Next, remove the five screws on the inside back panel. This is going to expose the carbon filter, so we can clean that as well. Once the panel is removed, you can blow out the auxiliary fan and the case fan. Be sure to use your finger to hold the case fan on the right-hand side, as to not overspin it. I've been yelled at a few times when I was doing my P1S maintenance videos. I've been cleaning out computers for over 30 years and have never once screwed up a bearing on a fan. But I guess it could happen. Better safe than sorry. Once those are both cleaned out, go ahead and blow out the carbon filter and clean out any debris and dust. After that, reinstall the carbon filter and reassemble the back panel with the five Phillips screws. Next, move the tool head back to the center of the case and remove the front cover. Using your canned air and a finger, apply slight pressure on the fan and give it a good hit with the canned air. Now you may have noticed, but there is another fan on the right hand side of the tool head. Let's go and give that a few shots of canned air as well. While we're here, let's go ahead and clean out around the extruder area, just in case there's some built up debris. Now let's give our tool head a nice wipe down. Using your microfiber cloth, wipe down the tool head cover and anywhere you notice any filament dust starting to build up. This is debris that gets released while we're printing our models. Next, reattach the front cover and we're ready to move on to the next step. This step is going to be quick and easy. Using a vacuum, let's gather up as much debris from previous prints and any dust that came out of our fans. Be sure to hit the corners, this is where a lot of the filament particles like to hang out. Once you're all done, let's move on. Next, move the bed up so that you can vacuum under it. In the control panel, hit the switch icon, then the Z home button. The bed will move up to the top. Next, it's time to give our Z screws a good wipe down and remove any debris. Using a microfiber cloth and some IPA, wipe down each of the three lead screws, removing the dark gray dirty grease. Next we need to apply a thin layer of Lucas white grease to each of the three lead screws. I like to just tap the Z screws every half inch to an inch all the way up. This makes for a nice even coat along the Z screws. Once all three screws have grease added to them, let's go ahead and move our bed up and then down a few times using the control panel. You can select the 30 millimeter option. It will move the bed down 30 millimeters at a time. Next, let's go ahead and inspect the Z screws to make sure that there weren't any sections that were missed. If you happen to miss a section, reapply using the tap method and then move the bed up and down a couple times. Next, go ahead and wipe down any excess grease that happens to pile up on the top and the bottom of the Z screws. All right, it's time to move on to the next step. It's important to clean and lubricate the seven linear rods, and that's what we're going to be doing next. 
If you've had your Centauri Carbon for a few months, I'm sure you've noticed a black ring that's starting to build up around the rods. This is quite normal, but something that we can definitely clean up for our routine maintenance. With a clean area on your microfiber cloth, dampen it with some IPA and give your rods a good wipe down. Once the rods are nice and clean, let's go ahead and apply a small amount of Super Lube. Using your microfiber cloth, do your best to avoid the belts with this. Potentially, if you get enough Super Lube on the belts, they could start to slip, so just be aware of it. Awesome, we're just about finished with our maintenance. Let's go ahead and give our camera a quick clean. Using another clean area on your microfiber cloth, apply some IPA and wipe down your camera lens. Most likely it's pretty clean, but if you're using abrasive materials, it could start to dirty up. The last thing I like to do is make sure I check the belt tension on all the belts. The Elegoo Centauri Carbon has a semi-automatic tightening belt mechanism, so most likely your belts are nice and tight, but it's always good to just make sure. If you notice that the belts are loose, there are two belt tension screws on the back. Using an Allen, you can adjust the tension on your belts here. Now I always like to make sure I run a calibration whenever doing maintenance on my machines. For the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, just tap the last icon on the bottom left, then run the one-click self-check. Once that's all done, you're ready to go. I really hope that this video has been super easy to follow. If you have any additional maintenance steps that you'd like to complete, please share them in the comments below. For more tutorials on your Elegoo products, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing a ton more Elegoo content. I hope you're having a great day, and as always, happy printing.